Hi, Hari Om. Welcome to today's class. Thank you for joining. We'll get started coming to our comfortable seated position. Take a moment to let the eyes close and rock the body gently forward and back, exploring the space of your seat. Gradually let it relax into a comfortable central position. And as the pelvis relaxes, the torso extends slightly upwards. The arms and hands remain relaxed. And the back of the neck is long. Noticing the ebb and flow of the breath. And we'll chant Om three times to begin. Feel that that vibration is building internally and will eventually express as the sound Om. So as you sense that vibration within, we'll inhale together. opening the eyes and as you do so inhaling the arms overhead give a good long stretch up and as you exhale release the arms down with the breath release the chin down as well to the chest gently roll the head side to side with every little movement, notice the sensations as they move through the neck and shoulders. All the subtle differences that can take place even with the slightest movement, a little lift of the chin or the relaxing of an arm. And when both sides feel even, coming back to center, we'll move forward onto hands and knees. You can set any props to the side. Come into a neutral position, hands and knees, as balanced as possible from, from side to side and front to back. Have the eyes closed here and focus on the breath without moving the physical body. Notice the length of the spine. Let the hips be soft. As you inhale next, extend the right arm and left leg parallel to the floor, extend out. And with the breath, exhale down. The other side, inhaling left arm and right leg out. Exhale down. Turn the right shin out 45 degrees. Extend the left foot back in line with the right knee as you open to a, a side plank variation. The left arm lifting up, inhaling. Exhale to return down. Back to all fours. Other side, the left shin turning out and the right foot stepping back in line with the left knee as the right hand inhales up. Press down through the right foot 
and then exhale to release all fours. Sit the hips back for a moment in child's pose, balasana, forehead down. Coming up, curling the toes, lifting the hips to a gentle down dog. Both knees remain bent at first. Press into the balls of the feet as the hips lift, the chin and head release. Shift the torso some forward and back, keeping the knees bent here. But every time you come back, let the knees straighten somewhat. Not all the way just yet. Walking the feet forward between the hands. Release down, knees bent. Soften the entire back. Extend the arms alongside the ears, press down through the feet, raise all the way up, straight up as the feet press down. Feel length on the sides of the torso. And keeping the head between the arms, bend to the right. Coming up and to the other side. Upright once more, a gentle back bend. Exhale, palms together. Relax the arms. And most of our practice today will take place through the sun salutation template. Exhale the palms together. Inhale to extend the arms out, up, and back. Exhale, extend forward, strong legs, draw the low abdomen in, release down. Hands to the shins, inhale to lift halfway, re-extend, and release down once more. Step the left foot back, a low lunge. Pelvis is relaxed, spine extended. Place the back toes flat, raise the torso, the arms alongside the hips, encouraging the pelvis down and forward. And feel that the head is floating on top of the spinal column. Release the hands down, lift the back knee and on the exhale, straighten the front leg, stretching the hamstring. And on your next inhale, rebend into that front knee before stepping back, downward dog. A balanced triangle position here, legs and upper half of the body balanced. You can feel the thighs moving towards the abdomen and vice versa. Gliding the body forward to the plank position. And on the exhale, lowering down knees, chest, chin, sliding forward, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg out and up. Exhale down. Left leg, inhale out and up. And exhale down. Now stepping the left foot forward, lower the right knee, extend the spine. Raise the torso with the arms relaxed to the side. The upper right thigh is stretching. Let it release, hold the awareness there as the muscles soften. Releasing the hands down and lifting the back leg, straighten the front leg, stretching the hamstring. Exhale. And on the next inhale, rebending into the front knee, stepping forward, forward fold. 
Bend the knees deeply. Extend the arms. Utkatasana chair pose. Strong legs. Releasing the buttocks back. Pressing down through the feet to raise all the way up. Extending so high up that you naturally arch back. Exhale, palms together. Relax the arms. Hands coming together once more. Exhale. Extend the arms forward, up and back. Exhale to release. This time, right foot steps back. Lower the knee down. Low lunge. Lift the torso upright once more. This time, arms overhead. Inhale. Bring the palms together. And you can keep the back leg lowered or you can lift it. We'll extend the torso forward and then twist to the left. Bring that right elbow across the left knee. Feel like the inner thighs are moving towards the center line. And notice the quality of the breath. Inhaling to unwind. Exhale, release the hands down and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale to glide forward to plank. This time, exhale, bend the elbows halfway, pause. And then inhale forward, upward facing dog. Soften the shoulders, low abdomen in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg steps forward, lunge. Raising the torso, inhale, arms overhead. Now palms together at the heart. You can have the back leg lowered or lifted. Extend the torso forward. Exhale to twist to the right. Feel like there's as much space as possible between the hips and the ribs. Notice that area where there's a lot of detoxification happening, squeezing, cleansing. Inhaling to unwind, and on the exhale, hands release down. Stepping forward, forward fold. Knees can be bent or straight here. Let's slide the palms under the feet, palms facing the feet. Completely release the head. And you can apply some gentle explorative pressure here. So extending through the upper back, you can feel the feet pulling on the arms, the arms pulling against the feet. Now releasing the hands, extend the arms into a T-shape. Inhale to lift halfway. Pause. Very strong position, engaging the legs. The spine is parallel to the floor. And the legs are so strong that by pressing down, the torso naturally floats up. Arms coming overhead, arching back. Exhale, palms together at the heart. Relaxing the arms. Exhale, palms together once more. Inhale the arms out, up, and back. Exhale to release forward. This time, left foot back, high lunge. As you inhale, 
The torso can lift arms overhead. Rotate that back foot down, coming into warrior two. Arms open, left arm comes back. Feel like the hips are broadening. Both legs firmly engaged. And bend into that front knee, the right knee, as much as is comfortable. Now lower the left arm, straighten the right leg as the right arm comes overhead. Feel the space between the right hip and the right ribs. Rebending into that front leg, release both hands down as you turn the hips forward. Step back, downward facing dog. Full side plank here. Inhale forward to regular plank, Palakasana. Firm right hand as you rotate to the outside of the right foot. Left arm lifted. This is a plank pose here from the feet to the head is a flat straight line. Chest open. Shoulders broad. Exhale, release. Lift the hips back to down dog. Now the left side. Inhale forward. Firm left hand as you rotate to the outside of the left foot. Ankles stacked, hips stacked, and shoulders stacked. Lifting away from the floor. Exhale, release, downward dog. Inhale forward to the plank once more. Bend the elbows halfway. And inhale forward, upward facing dog, chest forward. Exhale back, down dog. Inhale the left leg forward, high lunge. Torso and arms coming up. And place the back foot down, rotating open, warrior two, other side. The arms are strong, and the torso is balanced, front to back, right in the middle. Lower the right arm as the front knee straightens, left arm lifts up and back. Rebending into that front leg as the hands come down, the hips turn forward, and stepping forward, forward, fold. Hands to the shins, inhale halfway. Feel like the tailbone and head are moving in opposite directions, space between the shoulder blades. Exhale to release down. Bring the hands behind the low back, clasp the hands, extend the arms up. You can give the head a little shake side to side. Release the hands, inhale to sweep out, up, and back. And exhale, palms together. Relax the arms. You may like a block nearby for this next part. We'll be eventually moving to the revolved triangle position. Let's see. Root down through the left leg. We'll start in tree pose briefly. Turn the right foot out and find either the ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Hands can be together or at the hips. Just 
staying focused at one point. And with as much grace and control as possible, begin to release that right foot, but without placing it down, step it back a comfortable distance, preparing for revolved triangle. So the foot steps back, the hands come to the hips, hips are forward, and as you exhale, release the torso down, extend forward and pause halfway. When you're halfway, clasp the hands behind the low back and draw the arms back. Notice the sensations. Let the back of the neck relax. And if you have a block nearby, place it down so the right palm can come to it. If not, you can come to the leg or the floor. The left hand comes to the low back to begin. And as you press down through the feet, inhale to extend forward, exhale to rotate to the left. Left arm raises. A very dynamic pose here, lots happening. The feet are as grounded as possible. Releasing the left hand down and we'll shift the block to the outside of the left foot now for the half moon pose. You can use the block or choose not to. We'll glide forward as the right leg lifts beginning to rotate the leg open, turning the torso to the right. That right leg is parallel to the floor. Right arm floating up towards the ceiling. And feel like there's a lot of space between the left hip and right hip. Now with control, Bend the left knee, lower the right foot beside the left foot. Let the knees bend forward, fold. Rolling up through the spine, coming to standing. Now rooting down through the right leg, all the way down through the earth. See if you can energetically feel or even just imagine sensations moving through the leg, the foot, and even below. And now turn the left foot out, find the ankle, calf, or inner thigh, poised and balanced. No matter what the winds of life may bring, the roots of the tree remain firm. And without lowering that left foot, begin to release and step that foot back. Comfortable but good distance. Those toes can be slightly opened, legs straight, hips are forward for a revolve triangle on this side. Hands to the hips as you release the torso forward. Pause halfway once again. And interlace the fingers behind the low back. See if you can do the other orientation this time, if you remember, arms drawing back. It's probably the orientation of the fingers that feels awkward. Now you can have the block under the left hand or come to the floor or leg. Right hand comes behind the low back. Inhale to extend through the spine forward. And as you exhale, rotating to the right, the right arm lifts. And finding your edge where you're certainly not lazy, but you're not pushing too hard. You're right where your comfortable limit is, honing in at that edge and focusing on the movement of the breath. Now 
Exhale to release the right hand down. Shift the block to the outside of the right foot. Now glide the body forward, lifting the left leg parallel to the floor, beginning to open half moon on the side. Strong engagement through both legs, through both arms. Again, feeling the space between the two hips, between the right hip and left hip. Feel like it's open and stacked. And with control, bend into the right knee, release the left foot beside the right. Knees are bent, forward fold. Take the hands to the shins, inhale to extend halfway. Exhale, releasing down. With the palms down, step one foot and then the other back, coming to the knees, a kneeling position. Sit the hips over the heels, Vajrasana. We'll have a brief inversion practice. I'll instruct headstand, but if you prefer to practice shoulder stand or supported variation, or simply rest, feel free to do so. For headstand, you may like to tuck in your shirt. You're also welcome to come just to a partial headstand without lifting the legs. Interlace the fingers, make a equilateral triangle with the arms and place the head down between the hands. Lift the hips. You're welcome to pause here. This is plenty beneficial as it is. If comfortable, walk the feet forward until the hips are moving over the shoulders. You can bend the knees and the feet will float up. You can keep the knees bent as long as you would like. You're welcome to simply stay here with the legs tucked in. If it's comfortable though, you can unwind and mindfully begin to straighten the legs. Feel like you're pressing down through the outside of the wrists. That can provide a great deal of stability. And focus on the center line of the spinal column. keeping the awareness within as much as possible. Begin to bend the knees, tuck the knees towards the chest, engaging the core, and eventually the feet will touch down once more. You can pause for a moment with the forehead down in child's pose, or simply sit up to the kneeling pose, Vajrasana. Pause. Coming to sit in your most comfortable seated position for yoga mudra. If half lotus or full lotus is available, this is a good time to practice that. You can bring the hands behind the low back, clasp one wrist with the other hand. Or if you have full lotus, you can make your hands and fists, place them on top of the heels. Inhale to lengthen up, exhale to release forward. Release the forehead all the way down or the chin to the chest. And completely relax with the awareness within.
inhaling to slowly lengthen out, lifting up. Release the hands to the lap and have a moment of observation. Adiom. If there's time, it would be wonderful to spend a few minutes or even 10 or 15 minutes lying in Shavasana for a relaxation period. And if there's time for pranayama and meditation, that is always recommended. But we'll be ending the video in the class now. Thank you for joining, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Om Shanti.